caused any conflictions with their husband. Okay. Good question. See, who's going to jump in? <laughs> no, 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 no. I have easy, in a, in a sense. My husband is also a reporter, um, and we both have fairly regular hours. It looks like we're working all the time, I suppose, because you can see us at 6 or 11 or 6 o'clock in the morning. But but the schedule is, is I work usually 9.30 to 6.30 or, or 10 to 6, and, and it, it certainly doesn't conflict with my husband. And the woman who sits with Greta comes in in the morning, leaves at night. Um, so nights are fairly, yeah, we rarely get called out. Well, when are there problems? It can't always be terrific. When the babysitter's on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> no, do either Pam, you or Mary have anything? Well, to my hours sometimes are a little longer. Because I work nights, sometimes they overlap. They might come in a bit earlier. They might go a little later. And as, as I mentioned, the, the big problem is scheduling. A lot of times you have a planned activity and the schedule overlaps and it doesn't quite work out. But that's when you have to be flexible. Yeah. Sometimes with my schedule, if I'm working, for example, if I am anchoring the 6 and the 11, there can be several days. If I do that for a week, I almost do not see my son or my husband from weekend to weekend I, because I'm asleep when they go off in the morning right. and I'm gone when they come home at night. And that's the time at the end of a period like that when you just say stop. It isn't important how clean the house is or what I cook for dinner tonight or whatever. It's, it's time for us just to spend some time together and have a good time. And, and that's so, yeah. when we just halt everything and really take the time to be with each other. And your priorities do tend to shift according to exactly. what you're doing, right? right. All right, let's take another call. Good morning. You're on Good Day. How are you? Yes. How are you? Hi, fine. And you? Fine, thanks. Good. Listen, I'm a police officer down the South Shore, so I can't stay on here too long. I have to run the court. But <laughs> what I would like to say is that Channel 5 has the best-looking female staff of <laughs> Honest to God, when I come home from working at detail or working overtime, and I turn on that TV, whether it be news or Good Day, Eileen, Mary, Martha, Natalie, and so on. You're all beautiful. You're all fantastic looking girls. And I don't know if there's a hiring, but I like to shake the man's hand. <laughs> as far as Thank television you. is concerned, Channel 5 has the best looking female crew in everything, every aspect. You said exactly you, what I told you to say you, this morning. Uh, you people are fantastic, <laughs> really. Oh, and I wish you all the best of that luck, and God bless you all. Thank you. God bless you, too. Isn't that what a nice, nice man? <laughs> call like that makes your day. <laughs> well, do looks play a part, or is it what's inside? Both, for sure, I think. But in terms of looks, I think some. I think there was a trend a few years ago in television to really go for either the model or the former Playboy bunny or whatever. And I think, fortunately, we're emerging from that pattern. And uh, there's no there's no question that there are those show business aspects to our jobs. You know, Eileen, as well as I do, how much time we have to worry about or spend on wardrobe and hair and things like that that we may not that may not be our prime interest. We have to concern ourselves because it's a visual medium. But at the same time, I like to think that it's other qualities that we bring to the job, writing skills, interviewing skills, just the joy that we take in our work. Well put, Mary. Let's take another call. Good morning. You're on Good Day. Yeah, hi. hi. Um, I'm a, I have a question for Mary. I'm a new mother, and I'm worrying about uh, going back to work. And I was wondering, how long is Mary taking off, and how does she feel about going back to work and leaving a new infant with somebody? Oh. Oh, I share your concerns, absolutely. I'm probably just as worried about it as you are. I think um, I'm going to take about two months off. I think I will be back about the 1st of April. And I don't know how it's going to work out, but I mean, I guess that's life. There are a lot of, uh, there are challenges and changes happening all the time. I know that we want this baby badly enough to do anything to make it work. And uh, I know there are going to be difficulties, but other parents go through them, you know, the, the all-night when you're up with the, with the child, with the croup, that kind of thing. I mean, I know enough from my fun to anticipate those kinds of problems. And I just know it's going to work. I'm Was it hard to... for you, Martha, to leave Greta? Yes. It, I came back after six weeks. And the thing that I'm always talking about with, with Mary, with Natalie, with whoever else has had a baby, is that you sort of wish you could have maternity leave now. When they're real infants, Everything was so new to me that I, I was just confused all the time. I think I was frightened. I, I Going back was, was frightening. But when you get back and, and you see you can do them both, your fears will really ease if, as long as you have somebody taking care of your baby that you trust. I don't know about Jan She and adjusts Pam, really well. I mean, you, that's the, the greatest thing, too, because when that, that happens. You're bringing out the maternal oh, instinct in me. I'm almost convinced, you see. Oh. <laughs> Thank you all so much for taking time out to join us. Thanks, oh. Pam. It's great to have you Thank on you. board. And Mary, good luck Thanks, to you. I hope the delivery's great yes. and the baby's Thank healthy you. and well. Jan, continued success to you and Martha, you and Greta. Thanks a lot.